All right, uh, check. Hello, one, two. Yeah, we. It's working. Okay, I um, I got another build for you. Uh, this one's kind of similar to the first video I did, which was the lightning strafe Amazon. Um, you'll notice that this guy kind of has a similar armor on. Yep, it's the same one. I've got the uh faceted armor for lightning damage um, this guy does kind of a similar thing where I got some lightning charms in the inventory so I focus on some lightning damage and I try to maximize my crushing blow so that the lightning damage and the crushing blow can be happening at the same time and really take down enemies and uh, I try to use some unique weapons in the game as opposed to uh, rune words all the time uh, there's a lot of setups for this build. Um, I have a few different ones, honestly. Uh, right now, I guess I'll just kind of go through some of the gear just to show you what I'm using now. First off, we have the armor, which I showed already. 5-5 five, five lightning facets. Um, the armor's blue, so it looks cool. Um, we have uh, just the G-face on here. Um, there's there's also room for improvement on pretty much every piece of gear for this guy like you could get sockets and all like in this and then put in like a facet or you know um, like a like a nice rare jewel or something but anyway got a G face because I want that crushing blow that deadly strike I've got goblin toes for more crushing blow uh, I have high lord's wrath the skill the the deadly strike the lightning damage um, the resist this this amulet is quite quite good you can see it's pretty much got everything on here is desirable um, I'm using Drax because it helps with our uh, sustainability um, this build can get a little squishy sometimes when you get surrounded so the life tap really pulls us uh, out of a bind I'm using Wisp Projector, basically just because I found one, and since I'm using some lightning damage on this build, I just thought it was cool that we could proc a level 16 lightning on strike, and the lightning absorb is definitely very useful. Gives us a little uh, magic find too. I tried using the Heart of the Wolverine um, on there, just to see if it could help us with a little bit of attack rating and stuff. And even with battle orders, it just dies. So it's really not very useful. This would be amazing if the Heart of the Wolverine was higher level. I don't know. PvPers use it, so maybe they wouldn't want that. Okay. Raven Frost. You guys know about that. Attack rating, dexterity. All of our cannot be frozen and cold absorb. Uh, the belt's cool. I crafted this. 2% lifesteal. 6% chance of open wounds it only rolled one strength but then it rolled 71 to life and it gave me some cold res so I'm using it because I think it's cool and I crafted it and you don't really see a lot of crafted belts in the game uh, the weapons uh, I got a storm lash I found one of these a little bit ago and I saw the lightning damage on it <laughs> and the crushing blow and I was like sweet I'm gonna fill uh, somebody's inventory full of lightning charms and utilize the lightning damage and the crushing blow. It also has the tornadoes on strike and the static field on strike. This is one of those unique weapons in the game that's still awesome. I put an Amrune in it uh, just for the cell at some more life steal. This could really be like, it could be you could put a lot of things in this rune word, or I mean sorry, in this unique weapon though to make it really awesome. Uh, one thing that people do is, is they put a burr rune in it so that your crushing blow is now 53% just on this one weapon. That's pretty awesome. You could put a low rune for deadly strike. Um, you could put a jaw rune for ignore target's defense, which wouldn't be bad, honestly. Um, you could also put a facet in here, like a 5-5 five, five lightning facet to greater enhance the lightning damage that's on it. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what to commit to on it because if you do like a burr rune or a jaw rune or something you're not going to be changing it out so i just went with this for now same thing on this weapon i did uh, schaefer's hammer 
this is a really cool weapon too. It's indestructible, which is kind of nice. You don't have to repair it. It does have the static field on strike as well, just like the Stormlash does. Uh, it also has... It, it, the, the enhanced damage is kind of low. Look, 123%. I don't even think it rolls that high. But it gives you a ton of max damage and attack rating based on character level. And it also has lightning damage, so 50 to 200. I put an Amrune in, Am in it as well, just for the 7% lifesteal. It does give 50 to life, and it does give some lightning res, which we def definitely need. Um, if you look at our res, we're at 75%. We're capped out. And with our Wisp Projector, Lightning doesn't really hurt us, you know. Uh, our Cold's taken care of. Poison's not too big of a deal. Fire's a little low. I mean, you could make up for that somehow on your Mercenary, maybe, if you did a Flickering Flame. The Charms are just Lightning damage. Charms, for the most part. Um, like I said in my Strafe Zone video, that was, like, kind of my second set on my Amazon. So I have another set on this guy. Some of these are pretty decent. 1 to 39... 1 to 37, this is 1 to 83, 2 to 114, this one's 1 to 90. Uh, here's some more. We got more lightning charms. Then I needed a little attack rating, so I did use some max damage attack rating charms as well, as you can see. And then this is just a little bit of more res, because we needed that too. So I think I just went over everything. On swap, I've got a Lawbringer. Sometimes there's some undead guys that are immune to lightning, and they're kind of tanky. So if you switch to a Lawbringer, you kind of just waste them. Um, and look at it. It's in a Caduceus. Did you even know you could make Lawbringer in a Caduceus? I think it just looks really cool in that weapon. And so that's why I like it in there. Plus, since I'm using Mace class weapons and my Combat Mastery is maxed in that, uh, it makes sense to make my Lawbringer on this guy in a Caduceus. Uh, basically just doing it for the, you know... Sanctuary Aura and the Decrep once in a while. Demon Limb over here. Um, this is just so we can cast Enchant. We kind of need the attack rating. And it works when we run into guys who are immune to lightning and we want to swap over to something else. Um, this isn't bad. It's got some fire damage on it, you know. So anyway, uh, I'm going to... I'll. Uh, I, and you'll also notice there's a Valkyrie running around down here. I did use a piece... Rune word earlier, and decide and uh, got her to cast into the battle. So that's her on the mercenary. I didn't go with Act Two mercenary with Infinity. I just wanted to try something a little different. So I went with Act One mercenary with Faith, so I can have fanaticism for the attack rating and attack speed and a little damage there. I just threw on a Bramble because I just wanted like another effect uh, from this Bramble. Uh, this one rolled with level twenty Thorns Aura, so we do. Re um, reflect about a thousand percent damage back to attackers and I think a flat it's like a flat 140 damage or something uh, so she's got a bramble and a faith and then her helmet is just a kind of a nice little rare circlet that I found it's got run walk and life steal and one socket and then I put an attack speed jewel in it so it's just like a nice Nice utility helmet. Uh, you run faster, you shoot faster, and you get a little life back. Um, the run walk, I think, helps because she needs to keep up with us. And it's kind of hard for her to sometimes um, when we're using Frenzy. Frenzy, you know, two-handed we uh, two weapons, it's going to give us a run walk and attack speed and all that. So we, when we get this going, we run really fast, and then our rogue sometimes falls behind. Um, anyway, so those are the skills there. We kind of, I have 19 points in Frenzy, a couple points in Double Swing, max Mace Mastery, max increased Stamina so that Frenzy lasts as long as it can, a few points into Natural Resistance, and I did max Battle Orders, one point for everything else, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's those, uh, skills, uh stats here uh yeah oh yeah that's what i wanted to say um i named him storm gloat i think that was kind of cool since he's like a storm barbarian of some sort you know with the lightning damage and everything okay so i think let's go uh test this out a little bit this guy does look pretty sweet with his blue armor and his black helmet with the horns on it uh 
There's also black, you know, throughout the armor. The blue is kind of the highlights. I think it looks pretty sweet. So, and then I, th I love the, uh, the differentiation between the, the mace on the right hand, the flail, I mean, and then the hammer in the left hand. I don't really see too many people using these uniques. But anyway, so I think I found a pretty decent use case for them. So let's go. I'm going to do Frigid Highlands first, I think. We'll use all our battle orders and all that. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. So we at least life tapped everybody, so look at that. Nice. Just wasted them. Uh, the fanaticism from the mercenary is helping. It um, does make us attack faster. And I also love these little undead guys that the Faith Bow can summon. They, uh, they actually, because we have thorns from Bramble, those guys, when they hit, get hit, they actually do reflect back some damage. And then they, you know, they have like fanaticism. And I can even buff them <laughs> with the Barbarian if I want, which is kind of cool. All right, so let's go check out this guy over here. Oh, we're just crushing through. Look at this. We're just like, I love how fast this is. Frenzy is, is pretty cool. I do have a point in leap, so I can kind of get out of the way of stuff too, which I, I actually really like. The only thing though is leap leaves your mercenary behind i i kind of wish the mercenary would uh follow along a little bit better with that you know um i don't know if, if they like <laughs> it'd be kind of wild to see them code in like the mercenary leaping with you if you left that would be that would be kind of cool um i don't know or maybe it would look absolutely ridiculous but it would make leap like a lot better I feel like people would, people would uh, feel better about not having teleport or something. You know, if you could have leap and bring your mercenary to the location. Um, so anyway, you see how fast she is, though. Like my rogue, that thirty percent run walk that she has on the helmet is quite useful. It, it does. It actually does help her keep up. So here, I'll get way over here and kind of watch her like try to zip through. And like I said, I did proc a Valkyrie with the peace armor earlier. I just wanted like another target for the enemies to uh, focus on and re and that Bramble can reflect damage back too with the Thorns Aura. But yeah, so this if, you, if this is the first time you've seen my videos, these are off meta builds, right? Um, I don't, I'm not sure what to call this one yet this it's kind of like a storm barbarian lightning damage barbarian uh not not sure i, I didn't i didn't think of as clever a name i think yet um his name is more clever than the class i guess that i am trying to think of storm gloat which sounds you know very like uh viking-esque right So yeah, Frenzy is kind of easy to use too because if you put it on right click or on like a, a hotkey, you kind of just have to point in the general direction and hold it down and he'll he'll automatically start like running to the next guys and stuff. Look, we just one shot at that guy with uh, leap attack. Um, so yeah, oh, I know what else I forgot to show you is what our crushing blow is do you see this 93 percent chance of crushing blow thanks to the 33 that's on the, the storm lash 35 on the g face and the 25 on the goblin toes so whenever the storm lash is hitting it's got a 93 percent chance to do crushing blow so we're always doing crushing blow basically whenever that's connecting um there isn't crushing blow on 
the uh, Schaefer's. So it's a little bit lower. It's like 60%. But it's still pretty dang good. And like I said before, the cool thing about stacking elemental damage on builds like this um, with the Crushing Blow is that they're happening at the same time. I, I, I wonder if someone could tell me... I'm, does it all work for physical too? I, I don't know. I once... Maybe I'm misremembering, but I thought I heard someone say that, like, Crushing Blow can be detrimental as the enemy's health lowers or something. Because it's percent damage to their maximum health. Or what their, or what their current health is at. So, you could be having diminishing returns as they get weaker, but I, I don't know if that's true or not. I, I, I don't know if the damage all stacks together. I do know for sure that it does when you're doing builds like this, though, and it's... Um, and it's elemental with crushing blow. Uh, I just like identifying rare stuff. Like, look at this. It's got repairs durability and ignores target's defense. It's like cool mods, but you're never going to use it. But maybe, maybe once in a while, you'll just find the exact perfect combination of things. So, yeah. Uh, can you tell that this is working pretty good? Make sure our Valkyrie has extra life. The a Valkyrie proccing a Valkyrie with a Barbarian is uh, it works pretty well if you have a maxed out battle orders. Um, since she's level 15, um, she's not she's decent, but if she doesn't have extra life, she will in like defense and stuff she will get taken out eventually. So with the Barbarian though, you can give her extra life and defense with your battle orders and your shout and then she survives much better and she'll actually stick around for most of your runs so it's kind of cool to have just another companion as a target um yeah so this is my fourth video now that i've done for diablo 2 uh, I really appreciate the response that I've gotten so far. Uh, I hope that these are builds that maybe you haven't seen before. And uh, I'm hoping that I can just show some new things to people uh, and maybe get you to try a couple weird builds here and there to kind of like, it kind of reinvigorates the game, I think, to have builds that are different that you might not have seen or thought of, but then they also work pretty well too. You know, like I like I know that we're not zipping through like a Nova Sorceress, right? And just demolishing everything in the entire game super fast. But, you know, I, I, like I said before in other videos, I find it very satisfying to make melee builds in this game work. Um, and they're actually decent. You know, that's that's very fun in this game and very satisfying. There's something about melee builds that can be really good uh and like just the payoff you get for building them and the satisfaction of how they connect like when you have enough attack rating and you have enough damage and enough crushing blow and you're fast enough and like you're getting through the level kind of like i'm doing right now uh there's something satisfying about that i don't know exactly what it is but it's uh it's something about the visceral feel of being up close and personal with all these monsters and stuff. Uh, just doing a quick run check of those. Never know if you're going to find some sweet armor in there. Um, yeah, I think I'll stick with this setup. I, I said I had other setups for it, but um, I don't know if I'll show those right now. Mm. Uh, what is... That's terrible. I think, let's see, did we have, oh, I checked this out already, huh? Okay, let's go to, let's go to City of the Damned. Are there a bunch of lightning immunes here? There might be. That's okay, though. Oh, you know what I realized? I wasn't using my enchant. Let's do that. There we go. So we've got enchant running now. Um, yeah, that should help our attack rating out a bit more. 
we were hitting everything just fine in the last area though so so here's a bunch of lightning immune guys and so you'll see some of our damage is now being mitigated but uh it didn't seem to matter because we have so much crushing blow and we do do have decent damage physical damage still um, but i'll just i'll switch over to these now because this has the lawbringer and the demon limb <laughs> you know like who actually uses demon limb <laughs> uh to fight with i don't I, like nobody really maybe if you're like on ladder and you, that's the only thing you found you know um but it's actually pretty good like those enemies don't have a whole lot of resistance to fire i believe and they um and they definitely are super weakened by sanctuary the sanctuary aura like look like, they just go way down. They drop easily when you have a Lawbringer. I think you could probably do a build where you just do two Lawbringers and just stack up as much Crushing Blow as you can. Like, you could even find an arm. Like, there's armor with Crushing Blow. Although it makes monsters flee, I think. Um, yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you could... You could definitely, and it would be pretty good, is what I'm trying to say. Like, you, like even though Lawbringer has no enhanced damage on it, it would with the decrep and with all the crushing blow, and it's got a little bit of elemental damage on it. You could probably do really well with just that. Um, there's actually a lot of frenzy barbarian builds that, that I that use elemental damage that I'd like to try out. Um, basically, with you know pretty much every element like I uh, I think there's a few cool there's a few different weapons and rune words that are all kind of interesting that could make them work yeah but like um I was saying before there's definitely variations on this type of setup too even within just the lightning uh, the lightning damage uh, like for example you could run like two crescent moons which each would have negative 35 percent enemy lightning resist on them that would be pretty sweet i should probably grab a couple crescent moons and try that out it would be pretty cool there's also uh you could also summon spirit wolves with that and then just use battle orders just to give them a little bit of life you know that would be kind of cool I th maybe i'll do another video testing out double crescent moons i'm sure someone's I'm sure someone's tried that, suggested it before. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem like a too out there, you know. Um, but I haven't really seen. I don't know if I've seen a showcase on it though. So let's just leap attack that dude. He just died immediately. So we're still using the Lawbringer right now and the Demon Limb, and we seem to be doing very well. Look at that. And, you know, we still have all of our lightning charms and everything in our inventory, and our armor still got lightning damage and all that. So, like, even the enemies that, that we, if we just continue using these, we're still getting tons of lightning damage on guys that are immune to lightning. Like these guys. So we're doing, like, fire, lightning, cold, and whatever damage the Sanctuary Aura brings. It's like a type of ma magic damage, I believe. And we have all that crushing blow and everything, so it's it's pretty good. And I like how fast we are. All right, some more undead guys just getting wasted. You can see the lightning right there. I don't know if you check could see that. The lightning was proccing from our wisp projector, and uh, that looked pretty sweet. I guess the, I'll grab that ort rune because I could um, repair a weapon for free with that. Let's jump until we can find something to fight. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I mean, this is working out pretty good. You know? Who says that you need to have an inventory full of three 2020s in order to have a good barbarian, right?
or grief. <laughs> Just uh, not using grief either. And I'm killing stuff pretty well. Run, walk. The run walk, whenever I see a bunch of run walk charms, like just find large charms and stuff with run walk, I always think of Double Billy and his assassin that he stacked as much run walk on as he possibly could and then used burst of speed just so that he could run in and out of town faster to shop items. <laughs> that's, that's a cool build. <laughs> and actually very practical because when you're trying to shop these weird armors and stuff that you can put facets in it is not easy like you will go back and forth back and forth trying to find uh trying to find something <laughs> that you want to put your facets in and you just it'll be hours and you won't find anything All right, switch back to my uh, Stormlash and Schaefer's, since these guys are not immune to lightning. I don't know what those guys are, but we're still taking them down. We seem to be doing just fine. Once again, this is uh, online. Right, I'm playing online. As I've said before, I'm not too interested in trying to hero edit my builds and make them perfect. I'd like to play the game and discover items and builds naturally in that way through trades and just item finding. You know, That's kind of how I'd like to do it. Obviously, uh, if you just wanted to start making builds and you aren't playing the game, well, then maybe you'd have to do that. Or if you've exhausted your resources, I guess you, that's how I could see uh, why you'd do that. But it's just for my own enjoyment, you know? I, uh, I've said before, like, once I start hero edi editing, the game is pretty much dead to me. Uh, for me, it's hard to enjoy it when you just give yourself all the items. So yeah, all these builds are online and 100% uh, authentic, you know, there's no duping, cheating, anything like that. Uh, I've never used those sites where you pay for items. Um, I don't think it's a bad thing if you do anyway, but I just, I don't know, I never, I never felt like doing that. Um, I just liked finding stuff, it's really, this game has this amazing ability get you excited about finding cool items and runes and stuff like that so yeah i mean i'm just flying through here if you haven't noticed and i'm not even really paying that much attention it's going great the life tap from drax is a lifesaver this build would not work as well without a source of life life tap i'm just telling you right now like if you tried to make this and you wanted to use like something else instead you're you're probably gonna start dying the life tap really really is helpful um and i also i also just have uh 19 life stolen per hit so even before life tap goes i'm stealing lots as much life as i can So yeah, this is a um, another character I made on one of the ladders, actually. So I found that Stormlash on one of the ladders, and I uh, started trading for things like High Lords here to get some more attack speed and lightning damage, and I just found some charms and you know some of these charms are just like not even that impressive you know like they're like 39 lightning 25 lightning people don't want those so like you could just like just say like hey i'll give you like a you know 
like an ist rune or like a few like a mal rune or something and for like as many lightning charms as you have oh, look i found another lightning charm but it's only one to ten um and they're happy to part with them like they don't know what to do with them you know they're like they're like yeah i'll take some runes for these crappy lightning charms <laughs> uh so but not to me i think uh finding those are sweet i actually found today I was doing some testing again just before to, before making the video, and I found a small charm that had 7 to 17 fire damage on it with 5% faster hit recovery. And I was like, oh sweet, you know, there there's that's uh, there's definitely stuff you could do with those if you have a bunch of fire. I mean, any element really. Just just think of any element, and if you have enough charms, you can do something. You can make a cool build that's uh, uh, that's kind of off metal, or, you know. So I found that and got the, and I've been collecting those as well. I've basically been collecting every type of charm you can pretty much think of for the different elements. Uh, so and I was starting to think about what I could make with a bunch of fire ones, you know. Uh, I have some pretty good gear too that can reduce enemy fire res, you know, pretty well. So I think I could make a very uh, effective fire-based character. I'll take those. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out my other videos. I um, am pleasantly surprised that my strafe on is I think is around 1,300 now. Which is a lot to me. Uh, maybe it's not a lot by, you know, the grand scheme of YouTube, but I, to me it's a lot. Uh, I'm just like a dude, you know. I don't have, I'm not like a content creator. Uh, by, it's like not my profession or anything, right? I'm just trying to show people some cool builds that they've never seen before, because this is a game that I really enjoy. Um, and, you know, I don't know about you, but who can you really talk to about this game in your actual life? <laughs> like, nobody. I've met, like, one person, I think. Like, at work, there was, like, one dude that's that, like, is really into it, you know? But he doesn't even play it that much because we're just, he's just busy with other stuff. But I met, like, one dude um, that loves Diablo, you know? But I... St but And so... I, there's really not anybody that you can kind of just geek out about Diablo on, right? So, um, question two for people. Are you interested in Final Fantasy VII at all? That's my other favorite game. Um, and there's actually a cool cross uh, Easter egg for Diablo II in Final Fantasy VII Original back in 1997. Uh, there's a dungeon near the end game. Uh, near the end of the game and if you bring up the menu at that time and look at the location uh, name it'll say secret cow level which is really cool so apparently you know uh, they somehow knew about the secret cow level before Diablo 2 launched how does that work does that have something to... Can anyone explain that to me? Can anyone explain how a game from 1997 knew about the secret cow level for a game that came out in 2000? I don't know. I actually hadn't thought of that before, but it's in there. Uh, but yeah, if you like if you like Final Fantasy VII, uh, go ahead, let me know, I'll comment, uh, and tell me if you like it, because I am absolutely stoked for the next installment of the remake project uh, 7 rebirth but um, anyway so just let me know and just see if there's anybody that wants to talk about that or something because I, I kind of wanted to make a little content on that too maybe just even talking about it just because of the trailers they've been showing have been superb um, so yeah but those are my two favorite games uh, you know I got into a point in my life where I've decided th those got to be the favorite ones uh, Diablo 2 and FF7. And what's cool is they both got some uh, some treatment, right? Like Diablo 2's got Diablo 2 resurrected now, and it's 
pretty sensational. I I I kind of wish we could get some little more content for it, uh, you know. But they're not doing that right now. It seems like they just want to focus on D4, even though this is their best game. But um, uh, and I. I love Final Fantasy VII too. That's my other favorite game. I I love that game, and they got the remake thing going on, and they've got tons of compilation games, which uh, you know those are interesting. And then uh, the mobile game Ever Crisis. I actually tried it, and it's a gotcha. So I was kind of like ready to hate it, and it was kind of fun. You know, I actually really enjoyed it for like about a week and a half. I played it, and it was kind of fun. So yeah, let me know. Let me know if Diablo 2 fans are also Final Fantasy 7 fans. And if you'd be interested in some of the stuff I'd have to say about it. So anyway, uh, yeah, we're just cruising along here. I'm just like flying through, you know, with this character. And it's it's going really good. I, I like this is another off meta build. I Like I said before... You can do pretty well with crushing blow and lightning damage in this game, which is cool, you know? Let's see, should I... The Durance of Hate is terrorized. Mm. I don't really want to go down there, quite honestly. That place can get a little annoying sometimes. So I'm just going to check this guy out really quick. 85,000 repair, jeez. Let's do one more area, and then we'll we'll call it, I guess. Should we try to get Diablo? Oh, wait. I think I already ran that earlier. Whoops. So, let's try. Let's go to Area Plateau, kill Thresh Socket. Let's just do that. Oh, look, are we already there? I can't. Or no? Uh, here we go. Get our speed up by doing this. Go, 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 man. So let's see. Yeah, here's some unique guys. Stone skin, immune to cold, lightning enchanted, so he's kind of resistant to some of our lightning damage, but took him out pretty easily still. And uh, our enchant wore off, but you can tell we're still we're still hitting stuff okay. Our chance to hit is with the fanaticism going is about 86% it says. Not too bad. Ooh. Impossible. I like checking some of these to see if they'll ever give me, you know, four sockets and all that stuff. So. Is it up here? Oh, it's up here. There he is. See how, see how fast he goes down. Yeah. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, I hate these guys. You just run out of... Here. There we go. Yeah, I think we'll... Let's see. Is there anybody that's really annoying over here? Yeah, these guys are kind of annoying. But with our Lawbringer, I'll take that for now. Um, immune to fire. Not immune to lightning, though. Superior Thresher. Uh. A jewel. Gotta check that out. Okay, let's see. It's ethereal. Oh. Damn, 11% enhanced damage with three sockets. Man, why couldn't that have been four? <laughs> but you know what you can make in these? You can actually make uh, Crescent Moon and a Polearm. 
Could have an Act 2 Mercenary with Crescent Moon. Maybe uh, give him a Dream Helm and a faceted armor like this. Hmm? And then you wield uh, Infinity yourself or something like that. Yeah, I'll keep that. Here, I'm gonna go back to town and stash that away. Because that's cool. Uh, shoot. We don't have breaking room. Of course. That's one problem with this game, isn't it? It's like you don't have the room. <laughs> we need currency tabs and all that stuff, right? Someone was complaining about currency tabs, saying they'd ruin the economy in the game, and I think I have a great solution to it. All you have to do is just make it so that you can only stack 20 things at a time. All right. And then it would still work pretty good. So here he is, Stormgloat. He's pretty cool looking with his blue armor and his hammer and his flail and his uh, super speed and lightning damage. So there we go, another off meta build. Really hope you like it. Check out my other videos. I have a hunter druid, a rogue assassin, and a lightning strafe Amazon. Thank you. And see you later.